Welcome to your teacher orientation area. You have successfully logged in and clicked on the teacher orientation. I will now show you some information about this MOOC. Please note that before you can access any online material, you should be using Google Chrome as your internet browser on all student and teacher computers. You will also need to enable pop-ups in order to view all the MOOC content. The teacher orientation takes approximately one hour. The first section is getting to know you. The teacher orientation survey is contained here. We want you to fill out the survey by answering the questions so that we can get to know all the teachers that are involved in the MOOC. There is also a teacher introduction area. This is a basic forum which you can use to talk to other teachers who are also involved in facilitating the MOOC. Please feel free to add a discussion, answer questions or just network with other teachers. Note that you can use the breadcrumbs along the top of the screen to navigate through the orientation. This is the case with each course on the MOOC. So you can also direct your students to use the breadcrumbs where necessary. The next section on the orientation is what is this course about? There you will find a teacher's flipbook guide, which will give you all the information you need. Click on the center in order to make the screen bigger. Use the triangle on the right hand side to flick through the pages. You can zoom in to any page using the zoom button. Press the escape key to return back to the course. Again, get used to using the breadcrumbs along the top of the screen. The MOOC information is there as a quick reference guide for you to go through any questions that you may have. This information area also contains videos which will help to explain parts of the MOOC. The MOOC duration and time frame is also set out in the orientation. And there is a question area for all teachers to go in, add a new discussion and ask a particular question. Once you post to the forum, your message is there for everybody to see. It's the same situation for students. If there is a forum on any part of this MOOC and a student participates in the forum, their message is there for everybody to see. This is something that you should make your students aware of before they enter any forum. Please go back and forward into the forum regularly in order to see any posts or replies to your message. You may find that you can help someone else by answering a question, so feel free to do so. Once you have completed the orientation, you should really know what modules you intend to use with your class. We then suggest that you go into the student orientation and the various modules, go through the lessons, materials and activities and familiarise yourself with these materials before facilitating the MOOC in your classroom. You want to be able to answer any questions that you get from a student, so the easiest way is for you to understand what's ahead of the student. Feel free to revisit this page at any time because it contains all the information you will need. There is also a student intro video which is there for you to explain what the MOOC is to your class before they begin. As a teacher, your view of all the modules will look slightly different to the students. I'm going to click on the student orientation now to show you what their orientation looks like. The student orientation will take approximately one hour. It's a good idea to familiarise yourself with everything that's involved in the student's orientation. In particular, have a look at the optional classroom activities in each module. You should also have a look at the e-tivities. Take a look at the quizzes and also 
check the instructions on how to download, store and share digital badges. This is something you're going to have to do with your students once they complete a module. They may be very eager to get their badge and display it, so it's important that you understand how to do so and how to help them. Let's have a look at a classroom activity now. This is an example classroom activity. If you have time in the classroom, you can integrate activities. The classroom activities are a good way for students to practice working in groups, to learn from each other, research together and then present their findings. It'll be your role to show them the classroom activity, explain it and devise a way for them to present what they have learnt within the class. Bear in mind that each classroom activity will really depend on the numbers involved in your class and the time that you have to allow students to participate. An important part of this MOOC is the progress bar. Every student's progress will be displayed to them individually once they log in. Each section is marked out in blue if they have not attempted it. Each section that is complete is marked with a green square and green tick mark. You can check the overview of students by clicking on this button, but no other student has access to see what the teacher can see. Within the progress bar, the overview of students will show you the progress of all your students. The progress of your students is determined by the drop down menu. Simply select the name of your school and all the students within that school will appear. Their progress will be shown to you along the side of the page. You can also filter progress from 100% to zero by clicking on the progress button. Again, show your students the breadcrumbs so that they are aware of how to navigate through the MOOC. E-tivities are very important. E-tivities on this MOOC usually contain a video and instructions. Students participate in e-tivities by reading the instructions and then adding their answer to a type of forum. You should encourage all students to discuss topics with other students from other schools. This allows for cross collaboration. Students are awarded a badge at the end of each module, including the orientation. This will happen automatically once they have completed everything which contains a tick box. Tick boxes are ticked automatically once the activity is completed. If a student wants to check why they haven't received a badge, they can check their own progress using the progress bar, or you can check their progress by using the overview of students button. The home button will bring you back to the main screen with all the various modules. Take a look at all the modules before deciding which ones you want to take with your class. As you can see, at the end of each module, each student who completes is awarded a digital badge. Students are asked to participate in an end of module survey at the end of each module. This survey is there to help us to improve on each module by gathering feedback based on the material and the experience of each student. The digital badge will not be awarded until everything is completed, which includes the survey at the end of the module. Once you have finished watching this video, you can start clicking through all the information contained within the orientation. Don't forget to ask any questions you have in the teacher orientation question area. This is also a good place for you to practice using a forum. When your students are using a forum, they may have questions for you, so it's a good idea for you to practice. 